Hi guys, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a multi-model model called Blip. So Blip is actually using visual transformers okay, to achieve few tasks. So that is I have listed here. One is visual question answering and the second one is image text retrieval or image text matching. The third one is image captioning. So in the first one, in visual question answering, we can give a text as an input, I mean, we can give an image as an input and we can ask few questions with respect to that image. For example, I can give um, an image with two cats, then I can ask that how many cats are there in the image. So like that, we can, I can ask few questions and our model will be able to answer with respect to that, uh, that image. Also, we will be able to do some kind of a, a pre-training, I mean retraining or fine-tuning also with respect to this model. And the second one is image text retrieval, that is image text matching, in which like I can give a, um, a list of text and I can give an image. Then our model will say which text is more closely with the input image. Okay, so in, which, in, in this way we will get a relationship between the text image and the element text and the image the third one is image captioning i think it's um I, I should be like everybody uh, understood by its name itself like we will give a image as an input and our model will say appropriate caption for the image so that is um, the three major functionalities of blip and the blip is available with hugging face okay and in this video we are going to uh, try it out with image text retrieval Okay, so for that, I have already my collab is open. Okay, Google collab is open, so I don't need to specifically install anything. Okay, so it's already installed. So here, first let me import image. Now I can import request. Then synthesis again face model. We need to import transformers. Okay, from transformers we will have a uh, auto processor. Okay, this will do the pre-processing step, and we will have a blip model. Okay, and one more. Okay, there is a error. So, and one more thing is this blip is from Salesforce. From transformers. Okay, and yeah, this blip is from Salesforce. So what we can do, I can import blip model from pre-trained. Here I can mention sales force. I think it's. Blip image captioning base. So this is the model name. Now we can import the preprocessor that is called the processor. This also we can import from auto processor from pre-trained. I can use the same model that is Salesforce. I can use blip image. Caption base. So let me execute it. Okay, the execution is in progress, but some errors. Okay, I think there is no model like this. Let me check sales force blip image captioning. captioning okay so the execution is progressing okay so this time it's good now we have the model and we have the pre-process now we need to create some input okay input so first i already have a url so this is the url so let me copy this okay you can see there are two cats are there i'm going to give this image as the input 
Okay. Now we need to get the image from this URL. For that, I can use request dot get. I can pass the URL. Then I can set the stream is equal to true. Okay. Here I can say I need to get the raw. So the image is already there. Okay. Now inputs. I can create a processor. In this processor model, we need to first pass the text. Here I will be passing two text. One is a photo of a cat. Here I can say a photo of a dog. So these are the two texts that I am passing to this model. Okay. Now I can pass the image, which image that I am going to compare with this text that is the image. Now I can set the return tenses is a PyTorch model. Now I can set the padding is equal to true. So now I am executing the input is done. Okay. Now it's very simple. We need to pass this input to a model. Okay. So here in this step, so it will do all the pre-processing that encoding the image and encoding, so everything will be done in this particular step. And once that is done, we will pass the, uh, the pre-processed input to the model. Okay, so the execution is in progress. Okay. Now we can see the similarity score. Okay, I can say that similarity score, we will get the outputs dot logs dot okay logs dot per image so we will get similarity score okay. so this is the similarity score okay so uh, the for first one it is minus 0 0.8606 and second one it is for this is the similarity score so what we can do, we can convert this into a probability using the softmax. So for that I can do, I can uh, do a softmax on top of this, okay. Uh, so it says, okay, so I need to set the di dimensionality here, I can set to 1. Okay, so now we can see the probability. Okay, so here the model is giving the first caption is giving the more probability that is 0 0.5408 and second one is giving uh, less probability that is 0 0.4592. So in this way we can say that okay this is uh, this image is more closely with the first caption that is a photo of a cat. So here we can see this is the image and the model is giving an accurate result in this use case okay yep i think uh, that is all about in this video so i will share this um, i will commit this to my github and i will share this code with you guys you guys can also try it with uh, the same code so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye